Yo, what's going on, man? We back with another video. Uh, I'm gonna just be honest. I'm not gonna read the title. <laughs> I'm just ain't, bro, because I'm gonna mess up reading this title. No cap, but we got some beautiful ladies here. You know what I'm saying? In the building. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. What's up? It's your girl, Baby Sia, also known as Princess Sienna, the big one, not the little one. TikTok, Baby Sia Live, Instagram, Princess.Sienna. YouTube, Princess Sienna. Hey, y'all. I'm Brittany Bestos. That's B R I T T N E Y B E S O S. You can find me at that same handle on all platforms. What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Destiny. Make sure you guys follow me on TikTok at Destiny Natasia. That is D E S T Y N E E N A T H A S I A. And for Instagram, make sure you put that underscore in front of it. Hi, y'all. My name is Angel Lee Abraham. Gotta give you a full name. Yes, Jesus type. Um, Instagram is X O S O E underscore B A E B E X O Baby. Oh, yeah. Before I get into the fight with Naruto and Sasuke, I just want to go over what Momoshiki did to the Kage, cause bro, I know one of them considered retirement. Maybe considered a career in becoming a professional NPC cause this job is not for them. <laughs> so shit opens up with Momoshiki one-shotting the right Kage, kicks him right in the gut and Brody went beaming down at the speed of sound. The whole squad saw that and they started sweating. This was potentially the start of another 5 Kage squad wipe. They knew he was trouble. He rushes Gara and Gara traps him with sand. The streets found out Gara's weakness was boxing and they've been rushing him ever since. And bro is tired of it. Look at him. His face gives me flashbacks to part one Gara's evil ass. The hatred in his eyes is back. He ready to end him. But Momoshiki hits him with the reverse, traps him instead, and breaks out of the sand. Next, he hits Gara with the standing lariat, no momentum, straight to the gut, and he goes falling down. The camera cuts to these two, and I'm staring with the Stephen A. Smith face, knowing damn well they about to get clapped. His next target is the Mizukage, and I can't What's believe this nigga doing with a fish in his hand? He got a fish in his hand? What the hell is that? It looks like a bat or something. God dang, this nigga look mad as hell. I ain't gonna like lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A sword handle. That's how you know, bro, is free eats, free XP. He not built for this. He smacks him know. so hard that he got the no, sword I... flying out of his hand. Oh, look at the sword. angle he got him leaning at. Now, this is crazy. He gets set into a tree root and he leaves an angel imprint on straight bark. The last Kage out the four is on that. <laughs> it is what it is. is timing. Not even bringing out her best jutsu for real. She put a bunch of rocks over her hand and called it a day. Didn't even bother wasting chakra. The punch gets blocked and Momoshiki's hitting her with a side eye. She gets one weave in, and I'm not gonna lie, that one dodge alone makes her have the best performance out of all of them. That's how sorry he got the dog is looking. Anyways, Momoshiki one shots her, making her fall face first to the ground, and yeah. That's the end of those copies. <laughs> and you know that post game locker room talk about it. The way that bed fell on the ground, like. <laughs> like he just gave up. Dang. Like, it's been a long day type of vibe. So that one, that one dodge was better than what they had. That's crazy. Yep. Yeah, dang. crazy. Naruto about to be in there, like. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Y'all are trash. Like, y'all are so trash. <laughs> I want you to know that I'm talking to you. So I'm going to say your name, then I'm going to call you trash. But now it's time for Naruto to fight. It starts off with a block and okay. Momoshiki's My impressed. Boy, he like, oh shit, so this is the main character. Naruto gets a couple more blocks in and I really believed he was going to beat the wash allegations. My questioning started happening in that arc with Shin. This dollar store Ujiha. Look at him bro, he got an Akatsuki robe with one cloud. That shit fake as hell. Bro bought that robe off a of team. I'm crying. When I saw Naruto and Sasuke struggling with Shin Ujiha, I cried a little because I started to realize Father Time caught up to them. Back then they would have packed them up in 4 seconds and it would only take one of them to do it. Like come on, bro's power is moving metal weapons. He would be a normal earthbender and Korra. I swear everyone in their mom know the metal bend over there. He wouldn't be special. But anyways, in the second half, Momoshiki starts absolutely washing him. Bro smacks him, kicks him, does a jumping kick, and then hits him with the Hadouken. And the cameraman is like, hold up, let me get a different angle real quick. And goes right behind Naruto and man, remember the cameramen like this for school fights? We needed them. This one right here is a professional. He getting all the angles. But the cameramen in school fights be recording like they're in the fight. And they be walking up to you talking about, nah, look what I recorded, this fight crazy. Bro, I can't see anything. But anyways, back to the fight. Momoshiki smacks Naruto so hard that it had him twirling. Naruto was perplexed. He like, no way I just got done like that. So of course he had to get back. He attacks him and gets blocked. And Momoshiki's looking at Naruto like he a mismatch. And for good reason too, because Momoshiki then proceeds to knock the rings out of bro. 
He hits him again and does his spin move. Naruto blocks that attack though, and looking at that face, you think he turned shit around. But he doesn't, cause he gets blocked and Momoshiki starts going to work. He did him crazy, he gut checks him, hits him with the spin move, then elbows him in the back, making him hit the run animation. Next, he gives him a taste of what Sasuke felt in that final valley, because he starts- Damn, I was looking like, why why uh, Naruto look different? Because he ain't got that bandana, that's why I got that. Bro, it's the hair too, oh my gosh. God dang, this nigga look like he just left the barbershop. What is going on? <laughs> I was like, is this Naruto? Is this Naruto? This don't look like him. Like, nigga, you just left the hood or something. I don't know what happened. Comboing his torso and Naruto just looking like, damn, this what that shit feels like? And this send off was cold because Momoshiki hits bro with the one inch punch. Send him bro away and then he's like, hold up, wait a minute. Goes back to him and palms the hell out of his head. Looking like 96 Jordan. So Sasuke's weak ass thought he was Batman. Try to hit Momoshiki with a silent takedown. But he had high alert in his class setup. He was not getting caught lacking. He turns around, dead checks him, and grabs him by the head as well. Momoshiki drags him, and Naruto's holding his hand out like we finna jump through the screen and help him. Yeah, I'm sorry bro, you're on your own. He takes off, comes back down, and drags him across the ground on some rolling shit. Damn. Next, he tosses them both away, and Naruto gets back up talking about some impressive. I'm weak, they really hit us with that whole anime cliche. You can't tell me this the first time you've seen this play out. Always somebody getting boom tossed 30 feet away and getting back up on some. <laughs> Looks like I have a formidable opponent. Vegeta. And they swear they're cold for saying that, bro. You're not him. Stop it. So they run at him and attack him. They ready for round two. And they hit him with this big ass explosion. So I'm sitting here thinking Momoshiki got cooked. Thought it was time to go home. But then we see that bro block both of them taking no damage. Oh. So Naruto and Sasuke were like, oh, nah, we got to play this shit off. So they both use that moment of weakness to power up real quick. And they go right back to boxing. But even after all that, he was still holding them off. He sent Sasuke flying, and bro started showing us why he could be a blue lock candidate. Started showing some crazy footwork, controls the sword, and kicks it right at bro. But I'm not gonna lie, he did all that for no reason, cause that shit gets smacked away. But hey, it was clean though. Naruto got baked in the last one even, so you know he had to run it back. He calls Iso on Momoshiki and gets to work. They moving so fast that I gotta slow it down. This choreography is crazy though. So Momoshiki tries to slap the shit out of Naruto again, and he looks appalled he even tried it. Momoshiki tries to headshot him, he weaves it, and starts smiling. And Momoshiki's over there like, oh shit, you actually nice. Naruto breaks his lock, causing him to be off balance, but he recovers. Then he grabs Naruto's wrist, hits his side, and does a spin move, but Naruto blocks it again. Bro does a whole nother spin move, Naruto dodges it, blocks him again, and he tries to sneak a kick in, but nah, we own that. But now it's time for Naruto to go on offense, he kicks his arm, Chops his neck and comes in with a mean no, left hook. That shit had him feeling like. <laughs> then Sasuke comes in like, shut your dumb ass up. Clean kick to the face. Heel to the jaw, sending him flying. And we see Sasuke hitting the Ninja Jordan logo. Bro, better have his own shoe deal. But I'm sorry, because he not buying. Momoshiki whips out his staff, talking about some bring it. And Naruto's just like, man, shut your Sends him flying, and he's up in the air, just looking like this. And they got that chase down Hall of Fame. Look at what they doing just to get to him. It's never that serious. So they face off again. And what you're about to witness is the definition of good defense, better offense. So Sasuke starts it off by throwing two shurikens at Momoshiki. And bro, I swear Sasuke never leaves the crib without those damn wire strings. He breaks the shurikens up, pulls it down, and look at this boy Momoshiki. He is out there moving. After all those dodges, Weave Nation was getting ready to sign him. But nah, they caught bro on fraudulent behavior because the second homie gets a cut, he said, oh nah, and hits the almighty push. And I'm just watching like, damn, why did you do all that dodging shit if you could just push it away? And then it hit me. <laughs> he just wanted to show off. He knew the cameras was on. I'm not gonna lie. I probably do the same thing too. I need me my little highlight reel. Come on now. But anyways, the shuriken pops out the ground and bro dodges it by jumping backwards. And it's revealed the whole time that the shuriken was Naruto. And bro pops out with the Rasen shuriken. So after seeing that, he's like, hold up. I could just absorb this shit. But the play wasn't over because Sasuke comes out that shit ready to pounce. And I'm just watching like, damn bro. They done hit bro with 30 pump fakes. This shit has to catch him now, right? Wrong. We see bro smirking, revealing that he was prepared for this shit all along, and then what? we see the chains he got in his hand. He uses it to tie up Sasuke. He thought it was over, talking about some, come here. 
But Sasuke had <laughs> one more move in his bag, and it's the ability to swap places. You know in bro's oh. head, he like... Oh, Boy, he was a bad one. <laughs> because at this point, it's like, alright bro, I dodge all your shurikens, was ready to absorb the attack, and I was ready for the fake. It's like, come on coach, I left it all on the court, what else am I supposed to do? Facts. And the answer is nothing but catching this right hook oh, without him looking crazy. Man, he so out good. of his mouth. He gets sent deep yeah. down, and Sasuke ends up by putting him in a planetary devastation. Now I know the fight is technically not over, but this is where that hand-to-hand -hand combat ended for him, and that's all I was here for. So with that being said, thank you for Yo. 213k. Who won that fight? Who won that fight? You know? I gotta give it well, to my boys. Gotta give it to my boys. Dang, they did Not that fake, though. I mean, the fake was crazy, though. You know what I'm saying? They hit him with the shuritans. And you know what I'm saying? He, It was just basically like a bait. And then, dang, he could switch places with somebody. That's crazy. You know yeah. how they did that towards the end? You know what I'm saying? When they come down to Sasuke and Naruto, they... They brothers, they the undefeated people. You can't mess with them. I was going to say, like... Naruto gonna forever fight, no matter what. If, no matter how many times y'all put Naruto down, this man forever gonna get back up. That's why I put so much respect on Naruto's name. Ain't even funny. There was tag team out there, bit. You know what I'm saying? That was crazy, though. I like that. I like that. But bro was a bad one, though. He was a bad one. I ain't gonna cap. You know, he was hard. To, to take down I ain't, that was crazy right there though but dang y'all gonna follow these lovely ladies thank y'all so much for coming out no cap man y'all hit the like hit the sub man it's the fat red guy man i signing out you guys have a wonderful day man